Hey friends, welcome to She's in Her Apron. Today is my errand day, but before I head out, I'm starting off the morning making some homemade bread. We're completely out and I definitely don't wanna buy any. So with recently moving, I'm still setting up the home. I'm on the hunt for some curtains. I recently broke my butter dish, so I'm looking for a new one. And a couple of things that I recently bought at Sam's Club are now on sale, so I'm gonna run in and grab those. So when we get back, I'll be sharing with you tonight's dinner, a dinner that we had on St. Patrick's Day, and together we're gonna make a yummy Thai dinner. So now that my bread has risen in the pans, I'm gonna pop them in the oven, and then in 30 minutes, Derek will take them out of the oven for me. Look how cute he is. He even texted me a picture of them all done. My first stop today for errands is at home. I bought some curtains to go on the front door and the two windows that we have, two door windows, I don't know what you call them, in our great room. I was here like a week or so ago, week, two weeks ago maybe, and the curtains that I got, I have to bring back. They're fraying, like where they packaged them and hung them on the hangers, they're all frayed. Um, so I'm gonna return those, look again and see if there's something I can find that I like better than the ones that we have hanging up, but if I don't, then I'll just wait until I find something. And I need a new butter dish, so let's go into at home and see what I see. <laughs> Do you guys have an at home near you? I love this store. And when I was here a few weeks ago, I looked around. I hadn't been here, you guys, and I don't even know how long. I haven't bought things for my house, like decorations and things, for a long while. It was just so fun to look around at all the things, you know. But when I was here, I did get a carpet. It was this one um, that we put down in the living room. So that just works so good in that space. And now we have three chairs in that area with the carpet and it just makes it homey and just feels so good. I came here too, um, looking for a round coffee table to put in that space, but didn't find anything, so that was a bummer. But I'm gonna go look again at the curtains and see what I could find. They had light, transparency, heavier, and then like blackout. I don't want blackout because when the curtains are shut, I still want light coming through. They have so many to choose from here. Like I was shocked, like more than Walmart. I was gonna get this one. This is the one that I got. The reason why I ended up going with it was because it had the length that I needed, like about 84 inches, and I could buy them singly. Instead of the two package, I need three. <sighs> that really stinks that I don't need four because the double pack is for $24.99. So that's why I'm looking here because they have the size and I can get the three. I don't want a dark color. I liked that khaki color, but I wanted something with more of a pattern. So let's see what I can find again. And I just remembered why I didn't get these either because I need at least 40 inches wide and 84 inches long. These are 38, but we want that gap, like it covers that gap. We don't want it to fit perfect. <laughs> that was the other issue. And none of these double ones are 40 or at least 52 like the other one was. The other one was 52 inches wide. So that's a real bummer. Can't remember where I got my butter dish. I'm wondering if it's Walmart. They have this one that says butter. Mine says butter on it, but this is really narrow. Mine is like the whole width of basically this bottom plate. So maybe if I don't find something here, I'll just hold off until I go to Walmart and see. Look at this one. This is wide and it has a little handle. Mine didn't have something to pull on top. Whoa, this one is wide. I like that because sometimes we have like two sticks of butter in our butter dish, but this definitely takes up space on the counter where the other one didn't. Hmm. I ran into Ross. It's right next door. It's in between Sam's Club and at home where I need to be today. So I'm seeing if they have anything here. They're very limited, but I was just gonna give a glance and see what I can find here. I did purchase some at, at home, I'm not too sure. I think I might have the same problem as I had before, we'll see. And I did get some curtains for the bedroom and I bought four sets of them because I need to make my wall in my bedroom. Like I have to make the illusion that the window is bigger than what it is, you'll see. So I'm gonna take a gander here at Ross and see what I see. Okay, I had no luck at Ross. So now I'm at Sam's Club, I'm gonna head in. A couple of things that I bought on my last haul are now on sale course but I'm gonna get more ketchup even though I just bought three big 40 ounces of it regularly priced here at Sam's Club that's the best price on the ketchup with all the stores in my area and so now that it's on sale I'm gonna grab three more um, because we go through ketchup like water so and the pineapple that I tried last time is on sale and we loved it so I want to get one 
Uh, and I'm gonna see what those yellow tags have to say. And uh, yeah, and then we'll head to Macy's. The case lot sale is happening right now and it's not that great, but um, there's a couple of things that I do wanna check out and see if they're any good, but no big case lot sale haul this year probably for me. Uh, it's really just focusing on the prices at the stores, the best deals, and that's how I'm gonna have to stock up on my go-to items. But let's run into Sam's, then we'll go to Macy's, and then we'll go home. Here's the ketchup. So with this sale saving $2, making it $8.98 instead of $10.98, we're getting each of these 44 ounce bottles. Oh, I said 40 in the car, but it's 44 ounces for $2.99. That's a freaking deal. So I'm buying one. Mm. Here it is. So now I could save a dollar on them. Okay, you wanna know who ate the majority of these? <laughs> Shaylee, my 13 year old, she loved these. So I'm gonna get one more and tell her, please go easy so we all can enjoy them. So these are in light syrup with coconut water. Oh, they are so good. I searched this host section, even in the pepper section, and no green bell peppers, which sucks because I'm making freezer meals and I need some. And the price here at Sam's Club totally beats out the grocery store when it comes to green bell peppers. So that stinks, watch, the, they'll come in tomorrow. That's how it happens, right? Dang it, now I gotta pay grocery store prices. Whew, I am done with Sam's Club. I'm gonna eat on the ride home some of those fruit strip bars. Uh, this is the mixed berry and the tropical fruit. I am so hungry. In fact, I haven't eaten anything today. That's my problem. So I'm gonna save Macy's for tomorrow because there's still some more homework I wanna do and then I can um, grab ingredients for the freezer meals that I'm making. So tonight I'll sit and do all my homework for the freezer meals, everything, the case lot sale, and we'll hit Macy's tomorrow. So right now I'm gonna go home, unload the groceries, and um, have some taco soup that Derek made. And I bought uh, tortilla chips here at Sam's Club. I was gonna get my Josefina chips at Macy's, but I'm not going to Macy's, so I bought a bag of uh, tortilla chips here because we've gotta have our taco soup with tortilla chips. Mm, you dig it in with all the cheese that you're gonna put in that hot taco soup, and oh, it's so good. So Let's go have dinner. Oh, here is dinner. Here is the taco soup, and I put a little dollop of sour cream. Mm. You add your shredded cheese in so it gets all melty. Derek was awesome to make dinner. And because we don't have any green peppers, he substituted them with freeze-dried peppers from one of our Thrive cans. They were great. We've used them before. They're so good. Because I didn't have any fresh cilantro, I did put in some dry cilantro. And we eat it, like I said, with the tortilla chips. And I'm having some with this cup of avocado. Yum. So Sunday was St. Patrick's Day, and this is the dinner that we had. I made corned beef and cabbage in the slow cooker. So with the potatoes and carrots that cooked with the corned beef, I made a green salad. Oh, the cabbage was yummy. I made garlic bread from the sourdough bread that we had. The corned beef was delicious. And we had the ambrosia and pineapple pretzel salad that I made for our Easter video. It was so yummy. So if you like any of these recipes, I will leave the videos that they're in down below. And if you would like to print out any of these recipes, they're on my website, and I'll leave those links for you as well. Hey friends, it's the next morning. So we just opened the, the curtains and there's no runs so far in this one. So we'll see if uh, they'll work out. I mean, they're not too far off from the ones that we already have, but this one has a pattern on it. So it's not so plain, but it's hard to find a color that will work with everything that you have. So this was the old curtain. So it's just a thicker cream color, but I wanted something with more of a pattern. And our walls, they're gray, but in some of the lights, you kind of get this blue tint to it. So I didn't want to go with blues. I didn't want to go with grays because it would just darken the space. So here on this one is the old curtain. So this is just plain cream. And this is cream, but has the pattern. So it doesn't feel so plain. There's still light filtering. We didn't want to black out anything because you know in the morning, it's nice to still wake up with light in here. So I really wanted to find one with a little more color, but then then we're gonna be clashing with things, you know? Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I should be shopping for curtains at, at home. There was a pole in the fabric on the back side that made this little knot, and it made it look like a dot through the window. So it looked like a spot. And then there was this little like oil spot on 
on it. So it's another little dot. I don't know, man. We're still in a hunch. I mean, it's not like the curtains that came with the house are horrible. It was just, I wanted to break up. I just wanted to, something that's not so plain and they're really dirty and like, they've been used and it just is such a thicker material that it looks like a, not like a tarp but Canvas. kind of yeah huh so i don't know at home but i do need to go back because there was two of something that i got and i wasn't sure if i was going to use the third I was still trying to organize the kitchen and yes i do so i'm gonna go back and get it and return the curtains and say we tried, it didn't work. It's been a slow process putting this house together, but it's fine. What, what are we in the rush for, right? Ugh. Back to the drawing board. So Derek just hung up the ones that we got for the bedroom that are blackout, and they're blackout. See the difference? So I like waking up in the morning and still having the light shine through, and that is definitely darker. Mr. Toodles, you need an apron. Yeah, but I don't know where you put my aprons. They're in a box. <laughs> so Derek and I are cooking dinner, and uh, we are gonna have a fun like Thai night. We are going to have butter chicken from Sam's Club, the sauce. I have a pound of diced chicken in the pan, browning up, and then we're gonna add that and heat it through. So easy. And then Derek just made rice. Now we're heating up a pot of water because we're gonna make some stir fry rice noodles. Cook those up. And then if you remember, I think from Costco, I got this, the Thai peanut sauce. I love peanut sauce. With the two pounds of chicken tenderloins that I thought out, the one pound is in the pan already. This pound is going to make a, a chicken pad thai. And then I have naan that we're gonna eat with it. It's like we ordered takeout, but didn't. So I'm going to need to scramble an egg for the pad thai and slice up some green onions. So I'm excited because I'm hungry and this sounds cold. Huh. It does. Look how white your beard is. Yeah, all I got is just one little, he, little thing left. How much beard did you take off? The three inches. I like a beard, but not that much of a beard. All right. We're gonna finish working in the bedroom tonight on the curtains, and then I will share that with you in another video on how we're organizing the bedroom. Still working on my pantry. I had to live in it for a while, you guys, to know how I wanted to, to work and flow the process, but it's getting there. All right, we're gonna work on dinner, and then I'll show you the end result. I can't wait, because I am starving. So we're just gonna pour this jar in. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it tastes good. All right, this is just gonna simmer. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Oh, four ounces. Huh? How much is this thing? 14 ounces. Oh my gosh! Was it even filming? What I was saying to you was, I'm scrambling two eggs for the pad thai, but um, I had to boil a bigger pot of water because I read the recipe wrong. So I ended up cooking all the rice noodles. But we're gonna scramble this egg and then we're gonna add the chicken in to brown up. The only thing I don't have for this is um, bean sprouts and that is so good. And yes, I moved the butter chicken into a smaller pot. I stretched it with some heavy whipping cream that I had. So I stretched it out with some heavy whipping cream. It tastes so good. I, I'm definitely gonna be buying more of those at Sam's. That sauce, yum. I have my chicken done. I'm gonna add in the scrambled egg. I wish I had bean sprouts. I'm adding the green onion. Okay, and then I'm going to add the rice noodles. And these are cooled down and um, like rinsed off in cold water so they're nice and cool down. Now I'm gonna add the peanut sauce. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, if you see this at your Costco, get it. Holy moly, that's delicious. Oh my word. What you hear rustling in the background is Boston's unloading the dishwasher. He's got unloading this week, Shaylee has loading. 
Ooh, dinner is done. Our buttered chicken's ready. The chicken pad thai is ready. I'm just gonna heat this through so the noodles get nice and hot again. The rice is ready. We have the naan. Ugh, that is so good. You guys, mm, mm, mm. And here is our better than takeout dinner. Oh, look at that. It is absolutely delicious. Okay, friends, this is our pantry. This is what it looked like when we first moved in. I'm still working on it. Here's some footage of me working on it here. It's a process. So um, it is set up. You'll see the reveal in just a little while, but I had to live in it, you know, set it up, see if I liked the system, live with it and, and make some changes. And that's what I'm working on right now. So you'll see that really soon, but I would love your help. If you have a pantry like this, what do you do? What is helping? Any tips and suggestions? I will try them and I'll add them in the video. So I would love your help. I have a video where I share how to organize your pantry into category and zones. It'll even inspire you to start spring cleaning your pantry and maybe decluttering and organizing it. If you'd like to see that, I'll have the link for you down below. I recently posted a video where I share with you some new recipes that will go perfect with your Easter dinner. Don't miss out on this video. I'm sharing one of my favorite side dishes. That's my mom's recipe. And of course, we're gonna end it with dessert. There's also tips on how to cook a ham in your slow cooker. And if you're not ham people, I'm sharing a yummy pork tenderloin recipe. So click on here to see that and I'll meet you over there. Thanks so much for joining me today, friends. We'll see ya. Bye.